With my transition to being a fully remote employee, I wanted to build my dream office space that not only encouraged productivity, but also inspired creativity. And the result was three separate but intentional spaces curated to balance the needs of work, life, and play. Let me show you around. My workspace needed to be free of distractions and create an atmosphere that would allow me to prioritize my work. Because let's be honest, having all these guitars could be really distracting and defeat the purpose of a home office. So I intentionally placed my desk away from the rest of the room. I started by painting the walls peppercorn by Sherwin-Williams and installed these wood panels to give a natural and earthy vibe to the space. These panels not only are aesthetically pleasing, but they are also sound dampening and help reduce some of the natural echo in this room. Wrapping the sound panels around the corner also helps tie in the wood tones to the rest of the room, and that also freed up space for me to offset these shelves and then put some greenery and art off to the side. The foundation of my workstation is a Fazebo standing desk that is 60 inches wide by 24 inches deep. This gives me the flexibility from always having to be seated, and I use this all the time. Next, I installed a monitor arm to help remove some of the clutter from my desk and create a cleaner, more minimalist look to my setup. I then spent some time cleaning up the cables and ensuring that most of the clutter was controlled and out of sight. I use a Dell 32 inch ultra wide monitor and it costs about $200 from Costco. I know most home office videos have crazy expensive setups, but altogether this space only cost me around $1,800. And if you want a more in depth budget office video, let me know in the comments below. On my desk itself, I have a felt pad from Amazon, my MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, my rocket book for taking notes, and some peripherals like lights, plants, and a really handy pick holder. Off to the side, I have two Alex shelves which help manage all of my organizational needs. And I purchased trays from Ikea to help create individual storage space within the shelves. The drawer to the left of my desk is used for all of my guitar related needs and is labeled for quick and easy access. The drawer on the right is used for photography, camera, and other electronic and desk needs. For me, it's really important to ensure that even the stuff that isn't seen is clean and organized, as I think this helps reduce some of that mental load of having a cluttered space. Lastly, one of my favorite touches to this space is my JBL 305 powered speakers. I found this set used on Facebook Marketplace for $100 and they're really amazing speakers for the price. I listen to music throughout my entire work day and having them on a speaker stands gets the speakers to ear level and creates a better listening experience. Lastly, I wired my audio interface to the left of my desk to easily control listening volume. And I also use this for monitoring when I record guitar or just casual playing. Now, let's take a look at one of my favorite spaces in this room. This next space needed to be an opportunity for me to change my scenery and work in a different location, as well as be a space that would allow me to enjoy life where I could spend my mornings reading, journaling, and playing guitar. The pivotal piece of this space is the sofa, which I purchased off of Wayfair. The minimalist design helps create a slim profile that fits nicely in this room without overcrowding it. Plus, it's comfy and I like it. Paired with a few accent pillows, a throw blanket, and the area rug, I think this helps tie in the entire space to the rest of the room really nicely. On the walls, I have two of my favorite guitars, which is my Sir Alt T and my Jennings Voyager. I chose these two guitars on this wall because I thought they'd get lost in the peppercorn wall in my gear area. I'll talk more about that later. The black geometric design artwork incorporates a really nice amount of contrast against the agreeable gray walls. I purchased both of these pieces from Hobby Lobby for $15 a piece. Off to the right of the sofa, I have a cheap side table from Amazon that I use for storage and I use a wicker basket to organize my gear. The IKEA Hector light is one of my favorite pieces from this space and I use it to help create a rim light for when I film videos and it's also really practical and creates a nice warm light when I'm reading. Lastly, I place an IKEA Sardis board on the left wall and I use it to cleanly organize all of my cables. As somebody who plays guitar regularly, I learned that if my gear is stored away, I tend to use it less. So I wanted to be intentional about giving myself quick and easy access to my gear while still keeping a clean space. 
The cherry on top is my white Fender Elite Stratocaster, and I think it helps transition this space to my gear space. Let's talk about that next. Lastly, I needed a space that organized all of my gear in an aesthetically pleasing way and helped eliminate extra clutter. I started by wrapping three guitars around the left wall, and I did this to match the feng shui of the wood panels on the mirroring wall. Then I purchased a Visegal TV stand off of Amazon for just over $100, and that's where I store my Kemper and my HX Stomp. Paired with a simple Hector ceiling light to light up the guitars and some wicker baskets for storing cables and other miscellaneous items, this makes for a great space to store items and get them out of sight. On the right, we have another Visegal shelf where I have a lot of miscellaneous items, but they all serve a purpose and help enhance the space. On the top shelf, I have some greenery and access to my film cameras as well as one of my all-time favorite vinyls. Anybody know what it is? Below that, I have some conversational books, my lenses, and my record player. Continuing down the shelves, we see a theme of greenery, photography gear, more books, and a generally consistent vibe that ties this piece perfectly to the rest of the room. This space also allows me to grab my camera gear and use it frequently while serving as an art piece while not in use. Lastly, I have two closets for storage. The closet on the left is filled to the brim with baby stuff, which just goes to show no space is perfect. But the closet on the right has gear boxes, guitar cases, and this is where I store my video lights. Honestly, this closet is a lifesaver and allows me to access my guitar cases and cleanly store away some of those really bulky items. In summation, I hope you enjoyed this office tour and I would love to know your thoughts on this space down below. And while you wait for the next video to drop, check out this video comparing two of my favorite digital amps.